Evening all, and welcome back to Kerbalism. So let's pick up where we left off on a very close approach to Minmus. Does Mountain look tall? Does Mountain look tall? We, we are, we, we, hold on, we have a signal. We have a signal. We actually do have a signal. We could fire. We're going for it. We're going for it. We're going for the closest flyby of Minmus I can think of. And it might be foolish, but who cares? And we're fine, and we're fine, awesome. I do kind of feel that had we been over there a little bit, we would have hit them, hadn't So, um, yeah. And I bet some of you people that actually know what the heights are um, for the highest points on these ones, uh, I bet you all kind of like either knew I was going to miss that or were just saying, no, you're dead. You're dead. Well, well, maybe. <laughs> well, maybe. Okay. Oh, uh, I just realised I don't want to be doing that, do I? Because I don't want my hurry axis to go down anymore. That's really dumb. Uh, does that... Oh, no, I want to be doing something like this, don't I? Yeah. Fire towards the planet. Come on. There we go. Okay, so we're in a stable orbit. And now if I fire the engine again, it's going to explode. <laughs> because we have no ignitions left on it. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I, th I, I kind of want to fire the engine again to get my apparatus down a bit more. Are we? What's the worst that can happen? Go on, go for it. Oh, we, oh, we didn't explode. It failed. We could repair that. We could send a crew out to repair it. We're not going to. We're not going to. So this is going to be another relay or... Um, Another relay in orbit of Mimus, I guess, uh, with a bit of fuel on board. Not a great deal, a bit of fuel on board. But yeah, but we, um, thank you, engine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think I got actually one extra burn out of that, because I, I, do, I do think I fired, I fired, stopped when I thought it was all wrong, point in a different direction and fired again. So I think we did get one extra burn out of that, so. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right. So I'm going to turn off the SAS. Let's get around to the sun. And then let's try and figure out how we're going to land this rover and where we want to land it. Um, anywhere would do, really. Because, I mean, 115 meters a second, yeah. We, we land on Mimus is, is a cinch. The problem is that the engine only has 5 minutes and 50 seconds worth of burns on it. It's got loads of ignitions. But not very much. I think these are more designed as maneuvering engines, really, rather than actual proper engines. So they're designed to be short puffs, you know, to push things in certain directions. Just diff, diff, get out, get you know, you turn off your main engine, you turn these on, and then you just go fire a little bit, fire a little bit, turn down a little bit. You know, they'd be on the front of the ship or the rear of the ship. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe they are designed for probes, just like this. But then probes normally have long burns. So... I don't know. I do not know. What I do know is that I want to make sure I don't fire it towards Mimus. Um, when I detach it. So I kind of want to be facing... I think that way. Yeah, that way. But I'm going to go into the sun, like that. But when I do fire it out, hopefully nothing will go terribly wrong. Let's find out. Ooh, it went spinning off out of control. And you went spinning off out of control. Your periapsis has gone down to 10 kilometers. Which is fine for Minmus. Okay, and then we go over to this one which is spinning terribly, terribly out of control. Oh no, oh no. But because it's so light, it just basically stops as soon as you turn the SAS on. 
and we want to change that to be normal okay and then we want to just figure out how to get down there so what if we was to quite literally just do that got no burn time that's because I haven't unlocked those and I haven't activated the engine and I haven't turned the thrust up there we go okay now if I just point this retrograde um, I also don't think this has an alternator does it no it doesn't no okay can we fire here You see we get a lot of a lot of thrust. I don't want to land up there. So I want to go that way. To put us up further. I want to land on that flat there. Okay, how long we got left now? Five minutes, nineteen seconds. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So if I that goes down, and if I stop it, doesn't come back up. Nope. I saw it said five minutes twenty seconds. Did I misread that? I guess so. Uh, oh, time warp. Oh, yeah, time warp sets the craft correctly because when you dislodge things, they get all mucked up and confused. Um, like you saw that all the batteries were misaligned and things like that. And then when you time warp, it all just snaps the craft back together the way it should be. Which is weird, but. Right. Do. Let me um, point down here somewhere. I'll turn around so we can get some solar power power going. Walk again. Where is my suicide burn? Where is my suicide burn? I feel like you're going to spring up, like after it's too late, which is really what I don't want you to do. Then that's five minutes seven seconds. I wasn't. I, I don't know if that's overall burn time or whether it's just um, like prolonged burn time. Ah, there we go. Let's make it burn forty six seconds. Okay. So we want to go down to shall we say fifty seconds and fire the engine. Now, 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 fire. Whew. Right. So, and I'm going to probably regret saying this, but we have a successful Mimus mission, a failure moon mission, a failure for engines, a failure in general. Um, so, yeah, we have engine failures, we had moon landing failures, we've had this failure. Is, oh, yeah, that burn time is a. Uh, should I be firing halfway through the burn time? Not at the beginning of it. So if it says 24 seconds, you should fire at 12 second impact. Because it's like a maneuver node, it basically figures out the maneuver node at the ground, and this is what you need to do it. I believe. I'm not going to risk that. I'm actually going to fire um, at 24 seconds again. That goes down 23, 22, but that stays the same. So yeah, so I think it's um it's supposed to be halfway between the two, I think. So if I set my throttle to about halfway, we should stop in time. A bit more than halfway, three quarters. 
But it would probably actually point in the right direction, wouldn't it? Three, two, one, two, 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 two. Fire that engine nice and gently, nice and gently. Come on, come on. No, no, no. I do actually want to fall. <laughs> if you don't mind, I do actually want to fall. Just want to do it really, really gently. Because I don't want to just touch and suddenly spring into like a complete another world. There we go, we are down. I'm going to turn off the engine. The bomb. We are going to push forward. Turn off the SAS. We're going to bounce like crazy. There we go. There we go. We are on the surface of Minmus. We are, we, I don't know why I brought an atmospheric scanner. That was very daft. Yeah, I don't know why I brought that. That was weird. Um, but we're on the surface of Minmus. And uh, we've got telemetry report. That's fine. But what we can do now is we can obviously hold, uh, we, yeah. If we change this to be back to SAS. And then we turn SAS on. It will keep the craft level where it is. Now, where's the sun? The sun is there. Where are we going? We're going that way. So we actually want to kind of chase the sun in order to stay in orbit. Let's test our wheels are all right. Yeah, it looks fine. Turn the brakes on and off. Yep. reverse and uh, because we have our SAS set to um, <laughs> set to oh down get down get down get down yeah, we are a little rear heavy I did design these so they'd be empty of fuel we are a little rear heavy which is kind of to be expected maybe I should turn that on to being normal oh, lean forward there we go oh so the SAS the uh, the uh, telemetry in that is actually being used when I push W but this one is just SAS because if I turn that on to normal we can lift the rear end up because that is a really powerful reaction wheel. But with SAS only, I can just turn on the SAS and it will keep the whole thing completely directly level. So if we ever do a jump, I can just turn on the SAS quickly. It will keep the whole craft level. And then we can steer very gently with the uh, reaction wheel in here. Which is awesome. Yeah, so I kind of want to head towards the sun. Now what I can do is I can hold Alt and I can press W like that many times I think you see our pitch is dropping down there and that will just engage the wheels and it will just drive and then I could sit back and just watch this go really um, which I think I might do for a little while um, just drive around I'm not going to drive around very quickly because I don't want this to crash and burn and explode but I'm going to drive over to those mountains over there which are quite a distance away actually we've landed like right in the middle of this here um, and as I said, I want to head towards the sun, but I don't want to head straight towards it, end up there and be blocked by the sun. So, so I'm going to head over there, and we'll go up that ridge, and go. And we're already travelling, you know, ridiculously fast for a rover. Um, I think Curiosity on Mars is like one... I was going to say a metre a day. I think that might even be slower than that. So we're doing seven metres a second. Yeah. Of course, once we get out to a high speed, I can just hold Alt and press X, and it will turn off the uh, engines, the, the wheels, the motors. So um, we'll then just be rolling, basically. And I think we are... The flats are supposed to be flat, but I think 
everywhere you go is downhill. <laughs> I know that sounds really strange, but you just always gain speed on here. Which is fine, because we can always slow down if need be. But yeah, so I'm going to drive around for a bit. I'm going to pick up the signs up there. And, um... We'll, uh... We'll have a bit of a... Driving around, I think. I'll probably record it all, just in case something mad happens. And then, uh, cut it into a... A speedy time-lapse thing. Okay, so, as you can very clearly see, we are here at the Space Center and not up there on Minus. And that's because I have a problem. I can drive across the surface of Minus for about five, maybe ten minutes, and then my game crashes. Over and over and over. Um, I recorded the last episode on Thursday, I think it was. And today is Sunday now, and I've been playing every day trying to figure it out. I, I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't seem to have crashes anywhere else, although I've not driven a rover anywhere else. So I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to install Bon Voyage and just get that to drive the rover around. But you need to have the Bon Voyage component on there. So, yeah, I'm not giving up on it. I'm going to have another play to try and figure out what it is. It's, very, it's a very weird crash because it crashes my whole graphics driver. And I've got two monitors. And one monitor ends up going input signal not supported and the other monitor just locks up and I have to like alt F4 and control or delete to get it all back and working again. But the second monitor never comes back until I restart the machine so KSP is doing something very weird. I don't get the issue in any other game I've got and it happens with OBS running, without it running, with nothing else in the background whatsoever. It's just very weird. I've tried reinstalling my graphics drives, I've tried all sorts of things. I have mucked about i did notice in the kerbal settings that there are some things i had enabled and didn't have enabled and yeah I've, I've essentially i've tried it on the minimum graphics on the maximum graphics and on like the minimum ones in the launcher you can change things and it seems to happen all the time so i don't quite know what i have done however is as was suggested by a commenter uh, a few episodes ago let me quickly look up your name because i'm really terrible at remembering names um blue um Oh, wow, where was it? Uh, do you? Yes, um, I am going to absolutely butch your name, and I'm very sorry about this, but... Um, Gil... No, I can't even go to pronounce that name. Um, I did reply to you on, on uh, the video. It was on episode 10. Um, uh... Someone Frank Noise for through I, I cannot pronounce the name. It's I don't know. I don't know what where that's from. I, I was going to say French due to the surname, but I might be wrong with that. So, um, but anyway, uh, that person recommended I have a look at Restock and Restock Plus, which is a um, graphics mod, which I've done. I've done. And you will see some of these look a lot prettier than they did before. Uh, if I load up my science delivery rocket, which no longer has... Um, the, oh, um, I, I, I even tried completely deleting and reinstalling KSP and, and installing all the mods again one by one to find out what was crashing it. It was even crashing with no mods installed because that little rover is stock. Well, it loaded um, in stock. And uh, just driving across the surface of Mimus, it crashes. So, hmm. um, yeah, so we can shrink that down there. We don't need that there. But, um, yeah, restock, uh, re, yeah, restock changes textures on things and changes the way some things are modeled. And I can't seem to zoom in any further on that. There we go. Um, but you'll notice, uh, look at these, look. Look, these are very different. The solar panels will look very different if we extend them. Look, they look so much better. Um, it's very difficult to explain it in here. Uh, I don't have a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, obviously, you can look at the video previously and see what's changed. This is something that's that's quite interesting, though. If I was to put the thermometer down there, look at that. Look at the thermometer. It's it's just different. It's just so doesn't even remotely look like the thermometer. Before. The mystery goo has much better, it's just, uh, Restock is fantastic. And Restock Plus, 
uh, also adds extra things. Um, there's the storage unit. That looks way different to what it did before. That's awesome. Look at that. I hadn't noticed that one before. Uh, Kerbals can carry that on their backs. And in fact, I think... In the main menu, I think a Kerbal does have... One of the Kerbals has, is carrying that. But um, yeah, the barometer... The guy counter, that's part of um, Kerbalism. So that's why that's not changed. But yeah, the guy counter has changed. And... Uh, the Radial Science Junior, that might be something that was added by um, Restock Plus. It does add a few items to the game um, to fill in some gaps, like this here, for instance, the uh, Radial one. I'm, I'm, I don't know which items are added by it. I must admit, I didn't pay enough attention. And we have unlocked some extra things. But yeah, there's a few other um, like uh, fuel tanks in here. Uh, medium sized fuel tanks, like fuel tanks that are in between this one and that one and, and uh, oh yeah, and the, the dome as well, you've got a little dome fuel tank, so you can add that on top of the uh, you don't have to have these empty nose cones anymore, you can choose to put domes on top instead, they're too small, they're too big this one's there hold on, hold on. Rip. and they can be fuel tanks as well, which is awesome not a great deal of fuel in there, but it's extra fuel for free, really. It does obviously add weight to it, but it is aerodynamic and a fuel tank, which is awesome. Um, and also it adds, uh, I don't think it actually adds a, uh, an adapter. It might do that, it might be. I'm not sure if that's the adapter that it adds, or there was one that it did add that, that changed it, but yeah. But um, yeah, as you can see, we've got little tanks and little things, and, and I like it. I like restock a lot. It's, it changes the look of some things there. I don't think it's changed them at all, but it's definitely changed the Reliant. Um, they look different, and uh, I'm I'm happy with that. So anyway, let's get on with the point of this here. I'm sorry, I'm waffling and um, oh. Nope, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Snap that back on there. There we go. Uh, I wanted to get rid of the. Uh, I want to get rid of the fairing. But I don't need to get rid of the fairing. No. no. Uh, what I want to do is I want to slightly modify these rovers. Uh, the first thing I want to do that I have learned is that these wheels. Uh, damn it. These wheels. No, 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 no. No, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? Um. because they're rotated isn't it yeah it's because they're rotated okay go back go back undo undo that wheel change there we go okay now, I think it's because the whole thing is rotated so what I need to do is uh, grab that rotate it that way Resnap it on, and that should work, I think. Uh, yeah, what I want to do is I want to take these wheels, hopefully, providing it doesn't do anything nuts with them. Yeah, there we go, that's fine. Move them up. I want to move them back to like here somewhere. Um, I noticed that the crafts, um, even though that landed with way more fuel in it than I expected, they're very back heavy. Um, because obviously when I designed them I didn't have the fuel tanks on there so yeah and the batteries are a different design as well the batteries are but yeah so I want to move the wheels just back on them ever so slightly move that up by one and then move that back to there was that correct? yeah that looks right and then we want to add a little Bon Voyage module don't we um, we see oh we've got loads of new RS RCS as well these are mid range RCS things Reaction wheels are way different looking, which is awesome. Yeah, we want to add the Bon Voyage module to each of these rovers. And I'm going to put it on the back. Um, I think. I unfortunately don't know. Yeah, put it on the back like that. There we go. And then put another one on the back there oh that way well path finding radar system there we go 
And then we can use Bomb Viage Move. So what I can do is I can take these to the surface of Minmus. Gonna sit there. Oh no, not nope, come out. There we go. Uh surface of Minmus and the moon and whatever. And um we can then tell Bon Voyage to drive them around so I don't have to sit there on the surface watching them so hopefully I won't get the crashes. That's the idea behind doing this. So something else I'm going to do as well, let's upgrade this engine. Um, it's, it, again, that's been very, very changed, um, which is awesome, but I'm going to take that to being high quality. So it's got 23 minutes and 139 missions, so we don't have to worry about it dying on the moon. And I'm going to go down here and change these to be high quality. We've got two ignitions now. Not really a great deal, but hey ho. And let's do it to the boosters as well. Boom, there we go. High quality, so they don't fail on us. So nothing goes terribly, terribly wrong. That engine's pretty good. That's got five ignitions. Let's not risk it. Just just upgrade the quality. Yeah, it makes it more expensive, but we got loads of money. Money's not a problem. Um, I could probably do with upgrading like the reaction wheels and things in these but uh, I think it's okay I think the reaction wheels are okay so yeah we'll go with that uh, one thing I do want to do oh even the uh, the clamps have changed oh cool I like them yeah. um, is I want to I think I need to add another thing in here, like that. Right, so you all fire. I'm, I'm confused by this change of number here. I have a feeling that our engines are firing. That doesn't appear to be including this stage for some bizarre reason, because these should all fire. The boosters will run out of fuel. Why? I don't want to put them on there. Ah, ah, no. Ah, you, you could, you could do that, but I don't want to because obviously they are um, solid rocket boosters. Not. Um, yeah, they're solid rocket boosters, not, not fuel boosters. That's why I was getting confused there because it thought I was going to keep these on here until I detached them for fuel usage. I could have put fuel on there and just told it to be higher priority, but then I don't think it actually flows through, so but we'll do that. We'll go with that nose cone. That gives us 4,300. What did the other nose cone give us? A difference. Oh, wow, that's way too big. Um, oop, that one. 4,316 or 4,318. We'll get the two extra meters a second. So yeah, there we go. Okay, so science rover science rover delivery system two. Let's try this again. Okay, so. I'm going to aim my camera here again just so I can see. I do have camera tools installed now as well, so we can play with that. Lots of mods are coming to 1.8, which is great. Uh, I don't know if restock changes anything here. Um, the water tower has disappeared. But I don't know if I have that because I didn't upgrade it. I don't pay attention to things enough. That's the problem. So I don't know. I think it just changes parts. I don't think it changes the KSC. Um, anyway, let's get this into orbit. And... Um, Hopefully, you won't have any failures on the way. Uh, 
and there's the rocket ascends i've actually noticed the time of this video and i'm going to bring it to a close here so thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this one i hope to see you again next time and until then as always have fun